Hello, welcome to my session on getting started with Python using Data Wrangler in Microsoft Fabric. My name is Sandeep Pawar. I'm a senior Power BI architect at Hitachi Solutions, and I'm a Microsoft Data Platform MVP. Today, I want to talk about a Data Wrangler feature in uh, Microsoft Notebooks. Data Wrangler allows you to use uh, a, U, a user interface experience in Microsoft Fabric Notebooks to work with or to create uh, Python using the UI. So if you're somebody who is new to Python, um, maybe you're coming from a Power BI background or some other background, or maybe you're just a business user um, and you want to explore that data in a notebook using Python, but are not sure about how to get started with Python, Data Wrangler is a perfect tool for you. In today's session, what I want to show you is how easy it is for you to explore the data, transform the data, and then create new data frames using Data Wrangler. It is an integrated tool, so you do not have to purchase anything new or install anything. Microsoft Fabric offers you a wholly integrated experience on one single platform to get you started. As adv another advantage of this tool is if you're new to Python, you will be able to see the Python code that is created for you, which you can use to learn Python. So let's get started. So what I have done is in my, if you're new to Microsoft Fabric, uh, there are different types of uh, experiences that are available. Power BI is for business intelligence. Data Factory is for orchestration of the data. Um, and then down below here, you'll see you have data engineering and data science. You can go to data engineering or data science and create a notebook. I've already created a notebook called Data Wrangler. So I'll get started uh, with it. Now to uh, to clean the data, we first need the data, right? Um, so up here at the top, you'll see I have different languages I can choose from. So I'll select Python in this case, um, all the way and then just a little bit of Python code and say, okay, uh, I'm going to import pandas um, as aliasing as PD. And this is a, um, I'm just importing some data from GitHub. This is a business data. Let me zoom in a bit here. But this is some business data, as you can see, region, country, orders, total cost, profit, etc. And what I want to do uh, is I want to be able to change the data types or identify the data types, create new columns, aggregate the data. And ultimately, what I want to do is buy each country and in year, what is the profit margin? In this case, if you notice, I don't I have the total cost, total profit, um, and then the order date, but I don't have the year and I don't have this. So how can we do this with uh, Data Wrangler? Well, the first things, um, we need to identify what are the data types here. So I'll go ahead and say df.dtypes, which will tell me uh, if I have the right data I need. And as we can see, I have region, country, item type. Um, the date is an object, meaning it is a string. Um, for a year, we need it to be a date. Um, and then the, the column that we want uh, ultimately is the margin, which I don't have in this case. What I can do is I can go to data and then pull down transform data using data wrangler and right away i can see there is a pandas data frame that's available for me to get started i can also choose how many rows i want uh, from this data so the options here are that i can choose df and then i can choose the first the last or the random sampling in this case i just have thousand rows so the, it won't matter uh, but if i wanted to i could just you know load 50 rows in this case um, just for the sake of demonstration i'll just go to first or let's go to random um, and then open this will launch a new ui as you can see where you will see the um you will see the uh, the data frame in a tabular fashion and there are different things uh, diff different components to this ui uh, on the left side here, you'll see different operations that you can perform. So drop duplicate rows, uh, format uh, as such. Then I see the data uh, here uh, in the columnar or tabular fashion. And then summary of the column that, um, that I select here. 
Now, as I mentioned um, earlier, uh, we can we want to change the data type as well. In pandas, as we see earlier, these uh, columns were loaded or some of the columns were loaded as object. If I select this first column, for example, the year, you'll see right away that there are seven distinct values. The country has uh, 185, item type is 12. Um, to reduce the overall size of the data frame and then to make it for, for to make it uh, fast enough for us to uh, to work with this data um, we can optimize this a little bit more by changing the data type uh, meaning instead of the string or the object we can convert that into um, uh, a category or data type i can do that by selecting and then clicking on the three ellipses and then say change data type which tells, but uh, then I'm prompted that, hey, for region, what do you want to do? And I can see the new data type as category. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, what we want to do is change a whole lot of these, right? So I can control and then select all of this. Um, rest of them are date time, and then the other are high cardinality, or these ones are all numerical. So they, we are good here. And then I can change, go to schema and then change the column type where I select. I want this to be a category. And then as soon as I do that, notice here it generated the Python code. I can apply. And as I apply, notice at the bottom here that I started with loading the data frame, then the changing of the column type. And as we do that, uh, the, the the steps are highlighted, and we see um, a negative here, meaning this is the original, or the, yeah, this is the original column we had, and this is the new column we had shown by the uh, the green sign. So you are always able to go back and forth, and then uh, identify what transformations you've applied, and then plus on top of that, you're also able to see the preview of the steps that you applied um, and at the same time uh, look at uh, the, the python code as well next what i want to do is for the date column so order date uh, let's say i want to convert this into um, uh, we want to be able to change this into uh, uh, the uh, date time right so i'll go here change this to date uh, again the same thing here uh, will be applicable so I selected this column, uh, uh, this order date. So let's go order date and then the transformation. Again, let's select this and then click on apply. So this created this. Now I want to be able to extract year from it. Um, there's a pretty handy function in here, which uh, you can do by new column by example. So what I'll do is select this and say new column by example and this is my year and I want, what do I want from it? Well, I can just type in by example and then it is, you will see it is loading the operation preview, but it is intelligent enough to know that it, um, I want to extract the year from it uh, as I typed it. And yes, it does know that I want to extract the year right away. So, which is great, I'll click on apply. And the last part we need is we want to create a new column, which is the profit divided by cost to get the, the, the margin. So I'll go and then say create um, custom operation here. And um, actually, let's, let me go here. And then I can say, um, I want to create a new uh, custom operation, new column by example again. and or rather, let me one second. Oh, sorry, the formula. New create by formula. And in this case, I want to create a new column called margin where this is my data frame. And the column that I want is total profit. So this is something that if you have, uh, if you are have experience with uh, uh, Python already, you can use this uh, to create uh, new columns or apply um, uh, any transformations you need on top of that. So I'll go this, so which created the margin. And the last step we need is a group by. So I'll do a group by by operation. 
and I want to group by by not by profit but I want to do a group by by country and then here and the aggregation that I want is by the margin and I want the mean of that and then click on apply and now I'm done with all my transformations that I want and then finally I can click on add code to notebook and there you go we did not use we just used the ui to come up with this transformation altogether just using the data wrangler um, and in the process we can also scan this code and then learn how to uh, use python so hope this was helpful for you thank you very much